Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do others like the one you're about to watch here. for spending some time with me. I am going to talk to you guys today about my bullet journal and I will be following up this video later on this week with my paycheck video. I do get paid this coming Friday and I'm also going to be updating my sinking funds and my sinking fund trackers. So I am going to be uploading that tomorrow. So if you're interested in those, just stay tuned because those are coming. So I wanted to do this bullet journal video because I am going to be switching it up as of September. And I know that I just kind of started this one and created it, but I have recently, and when I say recent, I would say earlier this year, gotten back into bullet journaling. And I've tried a couple different things just to kind of see what works for me because it's been a while since I was really heavily into using this system. Um, I, I think I started bullet journaling around 2016 and I did a little mini flip through of my old journals in previous videos and um, I may still do like a full flip through on this channel coming up. I'm not sure. But my journaling process has changed so much and I really like the minimalistic look to this but I'm thinking that starting September I'm going to work in a little bit more color, a little bit more fun into it just to make it more interesting to look at. So for me, it is very interesting to look at just the way it is, but I I don't know. I enjoy doodling and I don't know. I just kind of like that and I like the look of it and I might not be as bold as I was in my previous journals, but I just want to incorporate some of that. Some of it, but not too much. I also wanted to talk to you guys about this notebook. Now I showed a very similar notebook, but it is a composition style, so it has the tape to binding. These are from Walmart, and they are less than $2, and I put this on Instagram, so if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I do have a different account. It is linked below if you want to check it out. I'm going to be updating stories with regular life stuff and just things that I'm doing like around the house right now because it's still kind of quarantine, um, but nothing too earth-shattering or exciting, but just different content than just what's on here. So it'll be a combination of the budget things and other things that I put in little videos or stories over there. So I did share with this as a photo um, on my latest Instagram because I used one of these to create my work diary. And I really like it, it's working out great. But what I like about this is not just that this is, you know, so beautiful and it has kind of that sugared shimmer look to it if you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm sure you do. It also has a textured feel to it. But if you open this up, as you can see here, it also has perforated pages. So that's a really nice elevated feature for a really inexpensive notebook. So you can tear these out nice and cleanly and you know use them for whatever or pop them into a different binder if you needed to do that. But the paper quality is good, it's not you know, it's not the best. It is thin paper, but it is nice to write on. And I really love this. And they have a couple different uh, floral covers. And I did pick up a few of these just because I thought they were so, so pretty. The gold spiral binding is just an added little bonus, I think. It's just really, really pretty. So I wanted to mention that because I like to tell you guys about little finds and stuff like that, just in case you're out and about and something that you want to pick up for yourself. So I linked this when I got it. This is from Amazon. And initially I had wanted an Archer and Olive bullet journal to use because I had heard so many great things about the bright white paper and the 160 GSM. I think that's grams per square millimeter. I think, I think that's what that means. But anyways, it's kind of like the weight of the paper. And so I wanted an Archer and Olive, but then I saw the price tag and I was like, that is just a little bit too much for me. I think it was 30 plus dollars, 30 some dollars. And being that I wanted to switch out from a Lois charm, I just, it's not doing it for me anymore. I, in fact, I have my Lois charm here that I was working on previous to this. I just don't like 
the paper anymore in this. Now I know this is probably a staple and a mainstay for people who do bullet journaling. The dot grid is very prominent. So the color of it, the shading of it is, is very noticeable. Sometimes I think that's a little bit distracting. So if you're somebody who's just getting into this, or if you are a pro journaler, journaler, um, I struggled with that, but if you're a pro, you may or may not like that. For me, I just think it's a little bit too dark and it is, it provides a distraction. So this paper also, the weight of it lends itself to a lot of shading. And in some cases, depending on the pen or writing instrument that you're using, it can bleed through. So I'm not a fan of that and I wanted to get away from that. So I was doing a lot of searching, you know, what people think is the best uh, journal, I guess, for, you know, the weight of the paper, the quality. And I also wanted to get away from that cream color and into something that is a bright white. So I ended up finding this on Amazon. It came really, really highly, um, rated. And I believe I paid $11 for this somewhere along those lines. And of course, you know, I got the free shipping because we have Prime. But yeah, $11. And this is 160 GSM. So the weight of the paper is awesome. I love it. And I don't think you can go wrong with this. The only complaint that I have, and it's not really a complaint, I have just opened this so much that the spine of this has gotten a little bit worn in. I wouldn't say that it's worn, but worn in. And so you can see some of the stitching and things like that coming through. Now that may bother you. That may not bother you. I, I don't love seeing that. I think the Lois Charm does a really great job with their binding. This is very clean. You are probably never going to see any stitching pop through here or any outlines of stitching, no matter how many times you open this up. However, I do find that this journal opens up flat a lot easier. So there's a lot of pros to this. If I could say any cons, this would be it. If this bothers you seeing this, you know, I would say this is probably the only con that I could come up with. Honestly, this is really nice. But in my Amazon, I guess, shopping and research and, and looking online at different bullet journaling accounts. I have also seen that there's another one that provides more colors. This one is kind of limited, I think, to a black, a gray, a pink, and a brighter yellow. And I wanted something that was going to look very fallish because I'm going to use my next journal for September through December. Now, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it for this year. Now, next year, I'm going to start one in January and see if I can make it go six months. This one, you know, I, like I said, I wasted a lot of pages at the beginning of this one, you know, doing this kind of thing. I, I didn't need this and it took up just a lot of unnecessary room in this journal. So I wouldn't do that moving forward. And I would plot this out a lot more thoughtfully than I did this one or plot out the next one a lot more thoughtfully. And that's why I want to start fresh in September. And I also kind of know at this point minimalistically speaking with the style, I, I know what works for me now and I feel a little bit more confident in the layouts and how I want to do my spreads. So just going back to this, I'll do a quick flip through. This was the year on four pages. So this is January through June and I did highlight the weekends just to kind of make them stand out a little bit more. So, you know, your eye kind of flocks to that and then you can count backwards rather. I don't know. It's just, it's just a style preference. You can do this or not. I just happen to like the way this looks. So I did it for the next um, half of the year as well. And then I started in January, even though this journal wasn't started until much, much later in the year, I felt the need. I don't know. It's kind of like a compulsion. Whenever I have a calendar, I want to see the entire year. And I don't know why that is because I don't really need to go back and reference the first half of 2020 for any reason whatsoever. Not even for archival purposes because so much of this year was spent in a quarantine fashion. So I did put a month on a page for every single month this year. And I started writing a little bit in here, again, completely unnecessary. So I would skip this in my next one. The things that I do like, June mood tracker, July mood tracker, and then I'm currently in the month of August. We're at the end of the month. So I, I wanted to do this video now, just kind of wrap things up and show you where I 
ended up and, and how I use this, but this was my July. I will be doing a mood tracker moving forward. I think it's really helpful. I think it's super interesting. I like to see the different moods that I'm in, especially taking note of my lower moods. I think that that is something maybe that I need to call attention to or deal with. Um, you know, if I see so many patterns of that in the future. This is my home mortgage payoff. And I really like this, even though this took up a ton of space, it took up four entire pages. I don't know that I would do that again, but I like to look at it. I just don't know if I need to look at it in this small of increments, even though this really, the increments really aren't that small, but still it took up a lot of room. So would I do this again? Probably, but in a different layout. And here is where I set up my financial goals. I didn't even fill out this one for August because I just didn't. August kind of got away from me in general because I got pneumonia and well actually I was sick twice and then it turned into pneumonia and I was on so many antibiotics and steroids. I just didn't pay enough attention to this channel as a whole let alone my journaling. So that's why this didn't get filled out. In my next one it definitely will. And then this was my monthly income. Again, this is something I didn't fill out, but I'm going to go back in and plug the numbers in here because I think this is important and I am going to be holding on to this journal for archival purposes. So I do want to make sure that it is complete for the time that I did use it. This is my July sleep tracker. Again, this was on two pages, completely unnecessary. The way I did it was very clunky and I didn't really like that. And in fact, I don't know why I didn't color this in. That kind of bothers me. So I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah, I didn't really like this layout. I thought that it looked a little bit too, almost too juvenile, in my opinion. Um, I just didn't care for it. I don't know. I colored too much there, of course. But like I always say in my videos, if I don't make a mistake, it's not my video. So, um... And that was this and here's my sinking funds which i do need to update this is going to be part of my update video for tomorrow so um will i do the same look not with these little firecrackers at the end i think that looks i, I don't like that it just didn't that doesn't speak to me so maybe do something else at the end or i don't know something a little bit more clean and then here's where i started my july weekly spreads so i do like this i tried to do like a different flower look for each week some days I didn't fill out anything, and then some days, or some weeks I filled out everything. So place for notes, that was unnecessary. I didn't really track any notes. Here are my YouTube videos. I wanna color this in because I do have that information ready to go, so I'm gonna make sure that I fill this in. And then here was a mistake. I don't know what was going on here, but something bad. And then this is my August calendar on two pages. I really like the way this looked. This is something that I'm going to be carrying through for September through December in my new journal. So that's supposed to be here tomorrow, according to Amazon by 9 p.m. I'm so excited for the navy blue color. I think that is so fall. Um, and it also has the zodiac symbol for Leo on the cover, which is my zodiac symbol. And I love that because I happen to want the navy one anyway and I got my own symbol. So um, in the video I do to set that up, I will link my new journal down below. But this one is linked in case you guys are interested. The new one that I got, I think was $18. I received some Amazon gift cards for my birthday and I have been putting them to use, let me tell you. So here I didn't fill out everything. I kind of wish I would have, but I didn't. I could have made better use of this just as a function, but I didn't. Here is my August mood tracker. So I was able to put this on one page, just like the previous months. And then down here is my sleep tracker and I was able to get this on one page. So I'm very, very happy about that. I put some Z's here, but they look kind of stupid. I don't know, I don't really like that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it going forward if I'm gonna put all my sleep trackers together for September through December, or if I'm going to do each month segmented individually, I'm not sure. Um, but this was also a little bar here that I was able to rate my sleep quality. So, and here is my August 1st through 8th, 9th through 15th, 16th through 22nd, 23rd through 29th. And then obviously I'm not into this week or the last couple days of the month yet, but then here are my YouTube video uploads and that way I can go in and color in my chart. Here is something just totally random and just for fun. I have been so into 
Big Brother UK edition. Now I'm also a Big Brother obviously United States edition fan um, and I'm currently watching it and enjoying it. I'm not thrilled that it's an all-star season. I like to see new people in there but I'm so happy that they ended up doing something this year because there was rumors that it wasn't going to air at all. But anyway, so I've been looking at um, lots of different YouTube channels that kind of host these different seasons and some of them aren't complete some of them are it's just kind of difficult to find it I know that I can't find it personally being in the United States anywhere online that I can even pay to view it um I think it's on channel five or something like that or channel one in the UK and you can subscribe to their channel but then it says like it's not available in my area so i have to rely on youtube and for the most part i've i've been kind of lucky you know finding full seasons but i wanted to capture the season that i'm watching the year that it actually filmed when i finished it and who the winner was so i have a couple others that i can plug in here um maybe i don't i need to plug in a winner for 2018 but this one I've watched a couple seasons. This is celebrity version and this is just the regular like regular person version <laughs> and um I wanted to check off the seasons I watched for that. I It's just kind of hard to keep track of and I thought why don't I just do a layout for this in my bullet journal because then I will know and I'll be able to remember you know which seasons that I saw because it is a crapshoot trying to find these full seasons on YouTube but if you can find it I highly recommend getting into it. It's very entertaining. It's very funny at times. In the celebrity version, there's always a couple Americans, you know, that are included in the cast. And it's just hilarious. I just love it. It's very, very entertaining. And um, I'm totally into it. And that is where I left off. So I have lots more space back here that I could use. And I contemplated, you know, doing September in here too. But I was like, you know what? I'm a girl who just loves a fresh start when it comes to notebooks and calendars. So I'm just going to let it go right here and I'm gonna start over. So that is my end flip through for the month of August. And I can't wait to share with you September, um, share with you what has been working for me, like I said, and what I end up changing up. So um, if you're interested in my sinking funds update, just stay tuned. That is going to be uploaded tomorrow. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. It does take me a little bit to get back to comments, but I do try to get back to everybody. And I hope you guys are just doing well. And um, I hope you're staying healthy and you're having a great week. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Take care.